So we just barely got the very first clip for Star Wars Rebels Season 3, and I am here to review it. In the description below, you should find a link to the clip, so be sure to watch it, then come back as we break it down, and in case you want to know, the clip starts at 3.40. So for starters, some of the characters of course look the same following the season 2 finale, with the exception of Ezra and slightly Zeb. Ezra is sporting a somewhat changed but similar outfit to his season 1 and 2 attire, but his hair is much shorter and he overall looks more mature. Sabine and Zeb look pretty much the same, including their weaponry, although it looks as if Zeb has had some new attire, while Sabine quite expectedly kept her Mandalorian armor, but again, the big change here is Ezra. For starters, Ezra appears to be wielding a DL-44 heavy pistol as his blaster, similar to Han Solo, and now has a green lightsaber which is more of a conventional design. Although I didn't hate Ezra's blaster slash lightsaber design in Rebel Season 1 and 2 like some fans do, it is nice to see a change after it was destroyed by Vader. Overall, Ezra seems to be a pretty effective fighter and surprisingly acrobatic. Comparing him against stormtroopers though is not much of a test but nearing the end of Season 2, he was getting much better. To me, it looks like Ezra is using a fairly progressive version of Ataru, as he is very fast and acrobatic, completely outmatching the Stormtrooper's speed, and rapidly closing the gap between them to allow him to get close. Sabine does have an interesting comment to Hondo in the clip that suggests Ezra's darkness may still be there, when Hondo exclaims, is that really Ezra, and Sabine comments, most of the time. This again may be pointing to the growth of darkness within Ezra. The basis of the clip itself is a rescue of Hondo, and unfortunately, we are yet to see the new updated, now blind Kanan design for Season 3. It appears as if the ghost crew is after some type of information Hondo and his associate have, who looks to be an Ugnaught. It has been said that Maul will serve as a major antagonist for Season 3, but Thrawn has also been heavily rumored and almost confirmed by Dave Filoni, who has teased him a ton on Twitter. As far as where the crew is, it is unknown, but it is clearly a detention block very similar to the one in A New Hope on the Death Star, but it is unclear if this is indeed the Death Star. So that is basically it. I really like the choice to change Ezra's lightsaber color, and I would love a little backstory on how he built it. Also, what has Ezra been doing with the Sith holocron with the mysterious dark side voice from within? Fingers crossed for Treya. Anyway, tell me how you think about the clip. Sorry for the shorter video, but it was just a very short clip. Tell me down below mainly how you feel about the new designs, and what is the context surrounding Hondo and his rescue by Ezra. Also, do you hope Thrawn will be officially announced at Celebration in just a few short days, and what would you rate the clip out of 10? Also, where do you think Maul is? Personally, I feel like it's a cool reintroduction to the characters, and it's nice to see the new designs, but still keeps a lot of cool twists and turns hidden away. I am very impressed with Ezra's progression as a fighter, but I am also somewhat worried for him, as he really seems to revel in the heat of battle. As an unrelated side note, Daisy Ridley just wrapped her last day of shooting for Star Wars Episode 8. Another small side note is many have asked if I will be at Celebration this year, and the answer is sadly no, but I hope everyone that is going has a great time. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other lore topics or questions you want discussed, leave a comment down below or tweet me at StupendousWave on Twitter, and I will do my best to answer or make a full video dedicated to your topic. Star Wars is really picking up steam and I am very, very excited. May the force be with you and have a great day.